All right, welcome back, all. Last time I made to the start of what I um, put in here is uh, mission ten, or um, basically right after we basically met the first obelisk of light. I'm actually going to jump to the end of the obelisk of light mission, and we're just going to jump back here because we basically had an option to choose two different missions. And well, to put it mildly, you've already seen me play the other mission of the demo when I did that little uh, you know video for that. So basically we'll accomplish this mission and I'm going to jump into uh, the other mission. We've already seen that. You can just jump to the end of the last if you want to get the briefing and all that. I think it'll be the same briefing twice. Now I'm not sure if this is like going to be like kind of like the um, uh, mission where basically we're coming to an abandoned base. The one without the repair facility. Basically Davian. I actually put nothing since that's what I've been doing. So many features you have to love in today's games at least. So there's one to Slovenia and then there's over here to um, Romania. I'm going to jump into Romania and see if this is a different map than the other one basically. I think these are the same same cinematics. Yeah, this is gonna be the first one there. So I think the only real difference there is it says a different name. But more or less... So, UN funding has been reestablished. You now have access to new aircraft, the Orca. This unit has been used to scout the immediate region, destroy all not present in this um, region. Now, um, basically, I think this is going to be similar to the other mission that um, I basically played for a demo. That one we had like mav tanks, this time we just have you know medium tanks, but for the most part the mission basically has turrets all over the place that I have to watch out for. Uh, I basically have I guess a, a border down here and a, this is like the edge of the map. So we're like right at the uh, you know bottom corner, and we have to walk through all these not turrets and stuff that are around. And we're gonna attack right away, apparently. I'm actually gonna move these guys up a little bit, since I know where you know I'm sort of am. I'm gonna move these guys over here. I'll be careful with the turret, but um, I'm going to basically put the Tiberium right, refiner right there. I don't like sending his infantry up this way, but um, I don't want to send my tanks to get damaged. I send Humvee around. There it is. Kill back you guys off. So this is gonna be a little bit of an annoying mission. We got these turrets basically guarding like the. Um, the valleys, I guess, is what this, this is about. And it's just a different map compared to the other map that I played. I'm basically playing this map, by the way, because um, 
you, you have yet to see me like play this, I guess, in the campaign, but more so, I have to play it to get through to like you know the next mission in the campaign. This mission has to be played, so I might as well record it, right? Else, I I just skip this mission like the other one if I had the chance, because you've already seen it. Nothing new. Now I want that to turn into a Tiberium tree before I start harvesting the Tiberium there, so we'll basically wait on that. I gotta watch the Tiberium side for vehicles to come down, I think. I may have to watch this ridge line for stuff popping out, I'm not sure. Let's just see if the rig continues over here, I guess. Yes, sir. And it seems to. The race continues over there. We build you right there. We're gonna build one medium tank, and then after that, I'll build an APC if I have access to it. Build the barracks first, as I said I would. There we go, we got our, our Tiberium tree over there, that's great. This is great, you know, having this Tiberium here, but I actually want to harvest this Tiberium over here first. For the simple reason that that Tiberium over there, it's like, it's in the enemy territory, sort of. I don't want to be pissing off the enemy. Okay, can you guys get through there? I just hope I can like make it so this guy could just go from here to um, there, but it doesn't look like I did too well. I can build you, so I will. Is this a ridge over here, or is there that um, something else? That is a ridge, so it looks like this sort of area ends over here. So I guess I've really got an entrance over here, over there, and over here that the walk for. I'll actually explore over in this direction, sort of. I'm actually going to put the APC in hold until I get the comm center, so I can see what the hell is happening around me. Since right now I'm just sort of just like... You know, sporadically looking all over the field to see where enemies are coming. In this case, they're right here. And it looks like he actually sent infantry at me here. Oops, he got in a shot. Though, so, um, luckily he got killed for it. Send the Humvees this way and I'll let these, uh, Grandiers take care of the rocket troops. Alright, I can see what I'm doing now. And I do indeed have to worry about being attacked over here. So, good to know. Hopefully I can hit this guy before he starts firing into my 
structures over here. As you see, an artillery can do a lot of damage if you're not careful. In the game, they sort of made it so like the the enemy is like really cheesy in how they work. It's not so much that the enemy is like really difficult, like how like they send lots of stuff and like they didn't do in 2000. They're just really cheesy. You know what? I think we're gonna go after this turret. Oops. Crap, there's another turret over there. Luckily I sent the infantry explorer, I guess, in a sense. Alright, that turns out of the way, which means I now have the upper aspect of this base available to me to sort of like work around with. I can like, you know, work where this turret would have shot at me. Okay, there's the helipad. Those are what you use to build orcas, and it's really expensive building helipads, but there's a real benefit to um, basically building them. Alright, we're good. I still have this guy going over here. I probably should stop that. Um, should probably build a second harvester too, so I guess we should do that first. I have a small defensive formation to sort of guard myself against like attacks. One of the things about, you know, the old CNC games, they actually made it kind of slow to um, get Tiberium. But at the same time, they didn't make it too bad to... Okay, here's where you get like the um, crisscrossing turrets over the place. They basically didn't make it too bad in sort of a sense of the fact... Um, how can I put it? Basically, the um, the games, like, they attack you slower to uh, the enemy infantry and like stuff like that. And um, it more sort of makes up for the fact that it takes longer for you to build your forces up. Damn it, I don't want you going backwards. I want to go forward to look around here. Ooh, turrets everywhere. So obviously this is a long structured valley over here. I think my Humvee's dead, Sally. It'll probably get shot just escaping at this point. Yep. But oh well, he did his job explore a little bit. So what they're really having you to use the orcas for, if you can't tell, is just the fact that there's all these guys here guarding the, like, you know, the pathways, so to speak. Moving out. 
oddly enough, it seems I've been blockaded over here. So there's only two paths toward um, me that I have to worry about. This is both good news and bad news. I can, I can use this. Alright, excellent. I now have a um, second harvester here. Oh, they're saying a buggy. Saying a buggy and some rocket troops. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Moving out. Damn it, I can't get this guy's very close over here. Oh, they sent those guys, and I sent these guys. This might be stupid, but I'm going to send these guys up. I'm gonna try and kill this one turret here because it's really in the way. It's just, it's too close to my base. Okay, that's out of the way. I now have a turret up here to worry about, but that's farther up here. You really don't have to build the orcas for this one, and in some ways it might be actually be beneficial for you to ignore the orcas because they're so expensive. <clears throat> But I figure I should probably build the orcas so you can witness what they're like. Uh, send these guys over this way, I guess. Alright, there's my defensive line, I guess, reformed. I'm weakening a little bit, but not too badly. The good news is I fi finally got my first orca to get up here. Alright, so now I can build up the orca attack um, helicopter. As you can see, it's 1200. And you get one with each helipad you build. So here's one right here. These basically um, are kind of like one-shot type of uh, attack craft, I guess. They like head over to a target you select. If you like, you know, if you um, you can't select them in the air, but you can number them. And basically, just you unlock your payload until you destroy a target or to get or to attack something else. So here's he's just attacking. As you can see, they can do quite a bit of damage. They're pretty fast. Um, Nod has uh, basic helicopters, which are much slower. They have to reload when they uh, unleash their payload. So he's coming back here, as you can see. I could attack again, but usually what happens when these guys take too much damage, they start to repair. So I'm gonna avoid that. We'll see how 
Let's just go after the other stuff a little bit. Injure the other turrets. Building our health pad. Boom, boom. In many ways, the Orca is more powerful than its uh, counterpart, the Apache. Because the Apache just has machine guns and they're generally not as strong as you may want, may want them to be. They reload pretty fast, the helicopters at least. Well, I say seemingly fast. They, much like everything else in this game, they're kind of slow. Okay, we'll attack you next, I guess. Now let's keep weakening all these turrets around my base. The beauty of using the Orcas is that basically they don't take any damage from the turrets unless there's you know stuff that I can hit them like rocket troops or uh, missile launchers or SAM sites. They're ba basically you know um, expensive but can't be hit units. Of course, if you play Command Conquer Renegade, then they're very easily to hit with um, ground fire. Let's build that right there. And now I have two Arcas. You can be really mean with orcas too. I think it's, these are the one one uh, single craft that can be used to attack harvesters, enemy harvesters, without any retaliation happening. Just because they just don't retaliate when you attack with um, orcas. A more frugal player, by the way, might just build two orcas and, you know, two health and two orcas right after could be cheaper. But I really see no point of spending, you know, 1,200 when the hell cap is only 300 more. Health pads are, are inexpensive, more or less. Alright, let's see if I can take out the turret with just two. And you know what we should do? I should be able to repair bay. Two might be enough to take out one turret at health, half health, we'll see. So, he should start repairing, yep, because he's, you know, at half health. But there we go, I took out that turret. Notice how these guys, they have blocks indicating how much payload they have left. Kill him. So there's one turret out of the way. I'm essentially just gonna wipe out all the turrets and then I'll send um, these guys up further. I'm not sure, but I think you actually have the ability to destroy trees, like over here, if you want to make a secondary path. Yes, sir. You don't have to fight the turrets, I just, I just feel like doing it yes, since... Sir, sir. That's really what they want, I think they want you to do in this mission, or the other mission for that matter, just fight the turrets. One of these guys didn't really unleash his missiles, but whatever. That guy's injured, I won't worry about him too much. Missiles from Orcas aren't too effective against the infantry, but in this game, really the only threats come from vehicles, so it doesn't really matter.
That took forever. Okay, so I can't build anything else. This is this goes against the orca and that's it. I'll build one more, why not? I like using orcas, they are kind of fun. They're about the only useful helicopter type thing in this game that you really care about anyways. I probably shouldn't be building like any more orcas because they aren't that effective. It's probably better to build a bunch of medium tanks. And I can note with like, you know, just like one helicopter pad, that's two medium tanks. Finish that turret off. Alright, there we go. We killed another one. Looks like there's some Tiberium up here. Notice that this guy, he, um... He, uh, will basically fly into the shroud to chase stuff. Sort of. One, how do these helicopters work? They'll chase around whatever they find and, you know, just target it. You have to be very careful of that because sometimes they'll go to places you don't want them to, like next to SAM sites and rocket troops and wherever else you can hit them. Orcas are strong, but they are invulnerable. I'll say three is enough for now. Three orcas. And I'll start building up the medium tanks. They're like little hornets flying around to a target. Three orcas is usually all you need for this mission, really. It's actually more than you really need. Alright, so now we've basically cleared out all these turrets, so I can move around a little bit more easier. I want to be really careful approaching the knob base, but I don't really worry too much about it. Should build one tip silo, I guess. Tip silos are important, by the way. You should always build one. That's the damaged guy who um, escaped me. He must pay. He must have had a real trek to take that long to get all the way down come over here, I guess. Go up on his rigs a little bit. Moving out. Affirmative. Moving out. Oh. Unit, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Moving out. Acknowledge. Construction complete. Found that guy. Construction complete. Building. Unit reporting. Acknowledge. Acknowledge. Whoops. That happened. No biggie, it's just a little bit of a power out, right? Looks like I blew up the um, turret. That wasn't too hard. It looks like there's actually an exit up here too.
Now I want to watch for artillery. If it's coming from my Humvee, I'll send the um, orcas to destroy it. That's the nice thing about armor in this mission, it's just easy prey for orcas outside of Samsite range. And we'll send you back down this way. I right, chase that first, I guess. Building. There's the uh, the hornets. I like to call them hornets because they are hornets. Order. We'll damage this a uh, little bit. I don't think they have the firepower to kill it, but they'll damage it. Here's the thing about, you know, repairing. You need, like, more than, like, one orca to kill it, or else it'll just start repairing up, like, the full. But just, you know, two orcas can heavily damage it enough from half health to kill it, and three orcas is enough to kill it outright. If you have the full ammo on them. He's dead. Oh, right, well, you can attack stuff if you're yes, accurate enough on the map. It's kind of hard to do on, this, on the big one, but on this one, it's kind of easiest to go click. Yes, Moving out. It's actually repaired a lot now, but whatever, it's should be dead now. These guys are fully ammoed. And there we go. Three orcas really is all you need to take it down from full to zero. That I don't like. My harvesters are heading outside my base range. Yes, They're actually going to this little bit of Tiberium out in the middle of nowhere there. I don't mind them getting rid of it, but it's kind of annoying that they're going on my base. There might be turrets up there I have to worry about. Okay, we got a tip tree down here. Looks like they're continuing on their way over. That's fine for now, I guess. Hopefully there's nothing here to shoot at them. And let's do a little bit of random exploring that I didn't expect them to. Actually, Tiberium up there. Oh, oh. I guess I know why um, artillery is firing at me. Whoa. Alright, this looks to be um, a choke point, so I'm going to bring all my guys up the bear over here. Chase out for this guy, please. Oh, oh, oh. Take out the artillery. Yes, yes, 
crap. Well, as I always say, this is a game of uh, vehicles. I'll send these guys back to heal. And these guys up to defend. So here's my new choke point. This is the one place where all the not stuff will come from. This is actually closer than the um, patch over here of Tiberium. Notice how I'm sort of angling all my tanks. I just want to point out, I do this because these guys, they tend to fire faster if um, what they see is in front of them. They're kind of stupid to medium tanks, or the light tanks for that matter as well. Let's actually take that off until I heal these guys. The Humvee can keep exploring and the other stuff can just keep being itself. My defense. Excellent. Two fully uh, harvested, filled harvesters. Alright, there's an Arimium tank out of the way. You can join the line. I'll actually send this guy up to explore Tiberium a little bit. I think at this point we've actually made it past their more or less their perimeter. And now we're like getting to like the actual base perimeter, as you can see. Uh oh. I want to be very careful because I believe there's an Obus of Light guarding this base. And he's got Sam Sight, so I can't just go willy nilly inside without him doing something about it. All right, those guys kind of uh, threatening me a little bit. Let's actually send these guys up this way. There, there's the main threat. The animal is trying to squish these guys. I think we squished him. I think I've got an artillery rolling up this way. Crap. He keeps saying rocket troops at me, and this time he's saying a bunch of them. I don't have the uh, squish power infantry to deal with them at the moment. I may say it's a game of vehicles, but that doesn't mean infantry can't hurt you. Alright, good, we killed them all without yes, them firing off a lot of shots. Q 
See, my tanks really got hurt there for some reason, but oh well. They're medium tanks, they have HP. Probably shouldn't build a medium tank when I have infantry to worry about, but whatever. One more medium tank won't hurt me. I might send uh, one of these harvesters actually over there to get that terrarium over there. And you know what? I'm going to actually try blowing through one of these trees. Um, we'll just have them force terrain attack that tree right there and see if um, the orcas can go through that one tree and blow it out. Basically, to get through like certain things like doodads, like um, trees, just repeatedly fire it until it gets destroyed basically with explosives and they go away, usually. Let's make a second line of tanks. You guys are fully healed up, so... Or, ammoed up, rather. Resupplied, whatever you want to call it. You can look around. Workers are attacking a little bit. Moving out. Moving out. Okay, there we go. I've got those turrets revealed. Moving out. Moving out. There goes the tree, if you remember. There's a tree there, and it's gone. So it is working slowly, this ability to just sort of kill off the trees. Oh, there's this harvester. Um, attack that tree next, orcas. Here's that river. Continued on. This might be risky, but I'm going to sacrifice this Humvee to do some exploration back here. Alright, here we go. So here's the Tiberium tree over here. That's an odd base. And here and here's a pathway leading across the river and then probably over to my base for the artillery. Let's actually send this guy over here and see if he finds anything. Maybe we'll find Goody Crate that can help me out. Make sure you always um, follow your um, explorers, by the way, if, they're, if you're looking for Goody, Goody Crate in particular.
Gooey, tra gooey crates don't appear directly on the map, so you actually have to specifically look for them if you want to find them. And I'll send this guy this way. But by the way, here's the ridge that the artillery had to follow to get all the way to me. They probably sent it straight directly from the base down here and over here. It actually makes sense if they actually made so that they actually keep doing that, so you have to have to defend against them. That's the harvester, I think, or... Nope, that's not a harvester. I don't like that picture. I've got rocket troop and free flamethrowers coming for me. Okay, we got the main one dead, but these guys do splash damage. I don't want them hitting my tanks. Because they'll damage my tanks. Alright, well, let's get this um, complete explored, I guess, for the heck of it. Just so you can see the map entirely. And I still have to blow up one of these trees, I guess. We'll do that. I really just know, at this point, there's really no tactical importance to killing these trees. I'm just doing it to show that you can kill them. So, continually fire at this one little single tree. And I have to note, you have to fire at single trees. And there we go. If you fire at, like, um, a forest... It doesn't work. Basically, a forest of trees like that, it won't knock down trees. Like, I wish I could knock down these trees and get right behind his base. But they didn't give you that tactic. They want you using orcas in this mission. And probably learn about the SAM sites too in the process. My Humvee here is doing a pretty good job exploring. Yes, sir. You can go there. Yes, sir. No. You can go there. Yes, sir. Ooh. Another one of these buggies. Excellent. Still coming for me, so. I'll drag this buggy out and kill it, basically. Ugh. Notice that they won't go, you know, keep following you if they hit you and run away. It's, it's how they're programmed to work, I guess, the AI. I could get closer to the gates, so I might well, try that. But they can't fire through walls. There's a SAM site. Oh, there's an artillery chasing me over there. But notice how I'm like not attacking with the orcas. Yes, 
I'm not attacking the orcas because of the Sam site nearby. Okay, there we go. He's gonna follow me and I can kill all these guys. I should have packed this harvester up here, actually. You can actually move your orcas on the field, by the way. That worked out. And they'll actually move to where you tell them to and they'll just land there. It's actually kind of useful if you want to position them for like a quick attack or whatever. So let's say... That's maybe far enough away from the SAM site that I don't have to worry about the SAM site firing. SAM sites have a fairly dis distant range for firing. Well, oh, there it goes. But yeah, you get anywhere close to the SAM site, I guess on screen it'll, it'll see you. Yes, sir. CNC lessons to learn, right? This one, my new APC, so I should bring it up. I think this guy's chasing my. Humvee, I'm not sure. Yes, sir. That should get his attention. If that doesn't. Moving Near out. did, so... Squishy, squish, 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 squish. And this guy didn't fire because he was positioned the wrong way, so we'll change that around so he'll fire. Yes, sir. And we'll send these guys all the way up here. By the way, your AI harvesters are still stupid if um, they're trying to get somewhere much like your units are. Units don't do too well trying to get over long ranges. Okay, let's send these guys up to attack the harvester. Yes, sir. I damaged that and you know whatever. Oh, there's our Sam site. Luckily, it's far enough away that. But it's good to know, there's a Samurai site right there. Oh, whoa! But yeah, workers are invincible. They will get damaged and get killed if you're not careful. You finally got here. So, this guy can hit all the way guys over here. Though he won't detect them until they move closer, I think. Excellent, you arrived. Unit you arrived first, so please get in there. A little bit of harvester manipulation here. You have to do that sometimes with like, you know, two harvesters for one refinery. It actually makes sense to build um, a separate fire for each harvester in this game, just because of that. There's all these little, you know, quips with the harvesters and stuff like that that'll be problematic if you don't deal with it right. Might send this harvester over there to collect that stuff. We'll send this guy all the way up to here, I guess. Affirmative. Affirmative. 
I send you up in front of them. Now we'll send you right here. I'm actually gonna heal up my uh, Orca. So much like, you know, a helipad, you can tell them to do this. Make sure you go this way. And to land on a, on a repair pad and just repair up like a vehicle. Sadly, they're expensive vehicles, but they aren't too hard to repair. Okay, so at this point, I managed to, you know, assemble a, a strike force, I guess you could call them over here. I probably got, you know, enough APCs, but what I really need to build, I guess, is maybe another tank or two. At this point, I have to start strategizing how I'm going to beat this guy's base. Though, I have to also repair my guys. This is actually one of those uh, culprits in the mission where it's slow not because of the fact that the game is slow, but because of like, you know, how do you position the game. You have this damn Tiberium patch all the way over here, away from your base. And the Orca has repaired. I think you get about 700 credits, by the way, per um, repair. So I've actually spent already of that like credits I had, I guess. Um, 250 of it was spent on repairing both the Humvee and the Orca there. Repairs can be, you know, a lot cheaper than buying a new one, but they're still expensive. Enough. Alright, so I don't know what the plan is here. These guys, they're going somewhere. Nothing to get through to these trees down here, but... Um, these guys might be going, I guess, to the back of my base. Just in case they are, I'll maybe send this guy. Rocket troopers can't fire at your orcas, so... Send these guys like this. Building. I'll build our tank while we're in the wait, I guess. And ooh, more infantry. Oh, damn it, damn it, they're firing. Stop going backwards. This guy might die in a moment. Damn. In a sense, I'll say it's a net gain. In the sense that um, rocket troopers cost quite a bit to build, but really in all senses it's a loss because this this is more of a patience game and that just sets you back when they get killed like that. I mean the um, CPU doesn't have unlimited CP um, like credits or anything and they will stop being able to build stuff eventually. Cast a Sam site too. Good to know. I basically want to map out this guy's stamp size is what I'm doing here. Out. If I haven't guessed why I'm sending these guys around like this. Out. This is a good example of a well-fortified base. It's got two um, artillery, it's got concrete walls on the outsides or insides. Affirmative. 
the only bad thing is that just got this like the gap up here. Probably not by choice. I mean, this game um, I doesn't let you build stuff. I guess at, at the edge of the map for some reason. I guess because um, it wants to be able to, you know, be able to move stuff around it or whatever. Okay, we're just gonna move this guy along this gap and look around. Oh, there's his tip silos and his refinery. Art artillery. And a stamp site. So he's got four stamp sites around his base. So using my orcas inside the base is probably not going to be a good idea. This is where you know we've been better building the unit tanks. The orcas only help me gang a certain part here. Okay, that's going to piss him off. I, I'm pissing off the light tank, by the way, here, just to get him to get out and get killed. So he's got power plants sort of, you know, spread around his base. Spread about of his base, rather. Oops. Okay, excellent. I'm gonna send you back to repair. You notice how much I'm spending on repairing because these guys are all getting injured because I bunched them up like this. Flamethrowers are actually kind of damaging if they're, you know, used on stuff that's mashed up like this. Okay, let's send you over. Send you right there, actually. Yes, sir. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually try and send a. What is it? Um, a Humvee up through here. This is try and find out where his obelisk of light is, because he. I think he does have an obelisk of light somewhere right around here, at the gap of like you know guarding his base here. Unlike the other one, there's no um, sweep point where you can just sneak past the Office of Light to avoid getting killed by it. You have to either make your own path or whatnot to avoid getting killed by it. The good news is that he's only got four stamp sites, though. If you call that good news, I can't really use the orcas inside his base or near it. I can't even send the orca to attack this guy because of this being near so close and this so close. Okay, that's good. I could actually send a medium tank back here to try and be cheesy. Do that. There's an idea. Maybe we'll try being cheesy. I send these guys like this. There's one engineer. Okay, I don't want like his harvester being here though. I have to kill his harvester, I think. Um, I might use the orcas in a bit, but the plan is going to be I'm going to weaken it with the harvesters and finish off a medium tank if I don't succeed and kill it with the, or with the orcas. So, go up this way and then lay on them. Damn, it's getting closer and closer to the SAM site. 
the Samsonite starts firing, I'm moving him out. Damn it. Oh, oh. Well, I deserved that. Moving out. Yes, sir. Yes. I'll send two of these guys up to sort of finish it off. And this artillery, hopefully. I mean, uh, I, I'm going to say this again. You shouldn't attack harvesters unless you're ready to kill the, you know, the stuff that's going to come out as a consequence. Oh. But, here's where we're going to have to basically take a chance and hope that these guys can take off or not sends at me. Okay, good. Now you guys can escape. As you can see, they sent a volley of guys to come after me. Yes, sir. We'll send these guys up to... Get that guy. Keep moving. That was okay. I managed to kill their harvester and a couple artilleries. Okay, he's going down to my base, so we'll try and head him off. It's times like these I wish I had the uh, rocket launchers or not artillery just to sort of fire a volley at the guys at long range and kill them. Rocket launchers and artillery are very good at picking off infantry, so you have to love it when you have access to them. Okay, you're coming down slowly. Looks like he just bought himself a new harvester. I assume that's what that was for. Alright, this probably is taking a very long time to beat this mission, and I'm actually making it slower and not having to gain speed up at this point. This is a very long mission. There's no doubt about it. And it's made longer just by the fact that they positioned the Tiberium so far away. I'm not sure if they did that to make it so you play the game longer or what, but... It's annoying nonetheless. Alright, good. You guys are all built, so we'll send you guys up this way. There's that harvester again. All those guys are trampezing up toward the um, not base. Notice how this harvester is start starting over here now, because you know it was newly built, so it's going to close this Tiberium. I was lucky at the um, Tiberium uh, harvester being so far away last time, but I won't be able to keep picking off the workers, sadly. He's got two harvesters now. I think I should build two. So destroying his harvester actually duplicated his uh, Tiberium processing power, I guess you will say. Alright, well, um, let's just send one of these guys up. That's a really damaged tank.
I love how like the NRC is running all the way around just to get to him. Okay, you're gonna go all the way back here. So I'm being kind of cheesy here. Here's what I'm doing basically to sort of speed up this game. I, ha I have money problems, right? Because I just have money problems, so... What we're doing... Building. We'll get you to come here. There's actually four Tiberium refineries here. That's really cool. Okay, we're actually going to slow down the game at this point. Notice that I can't actually fire at the buggy here. But he's actually destroying the wall, which is what he really is set out to do. Yes, sir. Oh, got two of them now. That's fine, let him distract the buggies and I'll send this guy in here. Okay, good. Now we have money. Okay, there it is. There's the office of light, so... I actually built too close to it. Too close, don't get too close. I've actually got no room here to actually build what I was going to do. Um, and I just built an engineer back here too, didn't I? That's the only bad thing when you know are trying to build, do this game. Um, I'm actually tempted to attack this, but... What I'm going to do is I'm going to build another engineer here, send him down to take the type refinery, I guess. Send another one to take this, sell it, and then I can build another barracks over here. Oh, we actually built the new silo. Yes, sir. No. Building. Primary building selected. Accidentally built another engineer. At the wrong yeah. spot again. Building. Unit ready. Ready and waiting. Got it. Here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna take this. This guy's dead, so I don't really care about it, but... This sacrifice will not be in vain. It's our idea. This will. Sorry, man. Didn't move you in time. Okay, good. We got that. And apparently, again, I built it at the wrong place. This thing's really annoying. Sorry if I do I, you know, do last time. Let's take this one. Notice how he's running out of money now. I'm not getting his, you know, any money really for capturing his tip silos anymore. I did not mean to build that yet again, but oh well. Just means I'm going to have lots of engineers over here to send in. Unit ready. 
Alright, good. Get to all those out of the way. I'm actually getting lots of infantry doing this, so it's not a bad thing. Building and selling, I guess, like this. Yep, he built a new refinery, so that means he's got himself another harvester. Okay, here's where we're just gonna sell these two. And now, I basically have a, a sweet run at all this stuff down here. His obelisk can't really guard everything, so... I can be a real douche if I want to. Should probably sell this. You notice how he keeps building his stuff in a specific pattern? The um, AI will actually do that in these campaigns, so they'll keep rebuilding their um, stuff, even when they're not supposed to be able to. In like, specific places. So let's do this. Get access to that. I'm actually gonna think about sending my guys up through in here. Looks like I got that for me. I'm actually gonna hold on to this for a moment while this guy gets me more money. You're gonna get more money doing this, by the way, having your powers to serve like this, get this stuff for you. Sadly though, you'll lose the harvesters in there, Ready like that. You killed my technician! That poor bastard. Okay, excellent, got that. I should probably take his uh, ham nod. Okay, he's definitely sending stuff in. I have to send this stuff in now, I guess, at this point. I can build flamethrowers if I want to now. And why not? We're going to send these guys in the mad rush toward the Here's the Elvis of Light against the much medium tanks, by the way. Pretty damn effective as a base defense to base this thing, but it can be overwhelmed if you're careful enough. And there we go. We took out the Elvis of Light. I can't build all this light myself, but oh well. Okay, I don't need to send all these guys, you know, willy nilly, so make use of them. Here's a flamethrower, he can go burn stuff. Pretty much, I did the same strategy the last time. I went into their base, I captured a bunch of buildings, and then. I pulverized him from the inside out again. All the stuff I can build yet again. Recon bugs and all that. I think he's going to try and squish my guys or whatever else he can. Let's have you go this way. I'm actually going to build guard towers for these guys down here. Ah, uh, I can sell stuff to make. Yeah, he's he's on a suicide run at this point. The um, AI knows it's lost, so it's just gonna try and avoid getting decimated. So let's go like this. Let's 
Scramble! By the way, press X on your infantry and it'll scramble. And you can just capture some stuff. Let's build a bunch of flamethrowers and flame tanks to burn the rest of his base, I guess. Firing squad! I figured I just yelled at for the sake of the fact I'm using a firing squad there. Send you guys this way. So this is a very long and stupid mission, so in the sense of like, yeah, it takes forever to build stuff, but it's the first one that really makes using orcas. Both the, um, you know, if the same one for basically each of the um, options for mission 10. They're going to be taking orcas to take down valleys of uh, turrets and destroy them. I'm not sure, but I think flamethrower troops are sort of immune to being fired upon with flames, but don't hold me to that. I might actually hurt my guys in a moment. Let's actually build some artillery, I guess. There's only a few buildings left, and then we win, pretty much. Okay, field test. What happens when you bring a flame tank near your own guys and... Tell them to start burning. Let's actually do it like this and see if they burn up in a moment. By the way, you do lots of damage to flame tanks on certain buildings. Okay, you do hurt them, so be careful with your flame troops and flame tanks and a lot. Don't go after the SAM site, don't go after the SAM site. Send you guys down at that. And we burn the rest of those guys. This seems like a good time to save, so we'll call this um, GDI. And mission 10. And we'll sort of finish off the last Luckily it doesn't seem like these guys are getting burned and they're in front of them. Of these slam troopers. Oop. He died. He died too, but I think it's because these guys are killing him with uh, shells. Nope, that's, that guy's definitely burned him. Well, there's uh, mission 10 out of the way. And here we get a nice clip of Nod running away from being attacked by GDI tanks. Even though the GDI tanks look like light tanks. One hour and 20 minutes to win that mission. That is a long one. And you know, it, it's just long because it's long. I had no efficiency, I had poor leadership, but I beat the mission. I lost one tip refinery, but other than that, done. So what's the next mission gonna be? I think we're gonna get to single missions only now, no options. And now we're attacking from the south. So, Greece!
transmitting just as he was about to reveal the location of Kane's research center. He's experimenting with Tiberium. Injecting the stuff into human guinea pigs. Delphi also has routes and times of the top secret convoy Kane's taken to Bosnia. Once you've landed on this beach and fought your way through non-security, find Delphi and Kane has killed him. Get his information. Over and out. This is a fun mission. I actually remember it. So you're gonna start off with um, guys on a beach, turrets, and it's just not gonna be a whole lot of fun for the first little bit. Basically, you have grenadiers popping in and MCs following it. Restate. Intelligence oper operative codenamed Delphi has info on Kane in this new bio research laboratory. After landing on the beach here in um, Corinth, move north to make contact with him. Do non will, will attempt to stop you. You must reach Delphi. Um, in the mission, Delphi is like past the Nod base. So you have to actually kill a Nod base to um, basically get to him. But more or less, it's an uh, annoying mission just to start off with. Uh, we'll actually save the mission here. We'll call this uh, GDI Mission 11. Start. And next time, we'll be basically going from this mission on. Take care.